When you're making a competitive game and it's on PC, you need anti-cheat. That's, that's all there is to it. It's gotta happen. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and I want to talk about if there's really a cheating problem on Halo Infinite, or if it's just the vocal minority on social media complaining to... Com no, it's not that. There is a cheating problem on Halo Infinite. If you're on social media, you've definitely seen all the clips. I mean, it's got to be hundreds, I would say, you know, very large uh, accounts have tweeted about it. Um, you know, it's not a good look for Halo. You know, the thing is, is this has been happening with MCC on PC as well. It's been really bad, and a lot of people are speculating for all the right reasons that it has definitely increased with the move to easy anti-cheat and the, I guess, no longer relying on the in-house Arbiter anti-cheat model that 343 had before. Now, of course, people were still able to cheat before the switch to easy anti-cheat, but with that switch, it makes it seem like there's, you know, a lot of legacy issues that are, are being incorporated. Whereas before, you wouldn't see people flying around on the old model. There are people that can just, like, you know, zoom around the map and stuff. There's all types of crazy things. Now, personally, now personally, I've been lucky because I've only played, like, three games in, like, the last week. I've been very busy with life and, you know not wanting to log in while people are cheating, I guess. I don't play ranked for a couple of reasons, and cheating being one of them even before the Switch to Easy Anti-Cheat. It's just not fun to me to go in there and get absolutely dumpstered on, and that's fine. But it really stinks when it starts to bleed into the more social and casual modes. Like, do you really need to go in the BTB or squad battle or, like, the Halo 3 throwback playlist thing just to, like, poop on people by cheating? It just doesn't really make sense to me. I... I don't know what the point is. You know, people are also spoofing other people's gamer tags and stuff. There's just a lot that's being, you know, taken advantage of right now. And that's not to say that other games don't have cheating problems because they absolutely do. There's been this huge conversation about like kernel level, anti-cheat stuff, hardware bans. Like there's so many different things, uh, you know, like Bungie suing cheat people and stuff and winning. A couple days ago, Seraja tweeted out that... It, as far as I can tell, Infinite doesn't mark for ban waves or can ban you outright when you're cheating. Nothing seems to be sent to 343 either regarding that. Basically, easy anti-cheat is meant to just be a big wall that cheaters are just walking around. Unicheck, Unicheck, and also, I don't know if I've been saying this wrong, is it Unicheck or Unicheck? I'm actually not sure because I heard somebody say check the other day, and I was like, oh my god, I've never heard that before, am I dumb? Anyways, he says that uh, 343 has seen all the clips and stuff, and hopefully that means that they're going to be able to do something. I don't know what, but that's just, like, weird to me. I speculated a long time ago. I don't know if it was during the, like, um, like open access beta period thing they had for, what is it, the testing flights, whatever it's called, uh, where I talked about Halo Infinite cheaters and uh, what that could look like. Is that going to be a huge concern? And it, only, it took a couple years for it to become super widespread, but I don't know. We've talked about, is Halo Infinite, you know, kind of winding down? Is it less of a priority? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just going to kind of wither and die at this point because of cheating. A lot of people have speculated that because of this, it's this is the end of it. Between that and the shop prices, and it's just, it, we I felt like we were having a couple W's there for a minute, and then it's just kind of all gone downhill. But let me know in the comments down below if you've faced any cheaters, how widespread do you think that it actually is. I read all the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 15K. I would greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, and I'll catch you around the ring. Peace!